Why would I do that? Why would I leave my girl for you? Like, why would I leave my wife? Does, does that even make any sense? Are you serious? You really think I'm about to leave my wife? After all this time I've been with her seven years? But you told me that's the only reason why we're together because you said he's going to leave your No, wife. that's the only reason we messing around. Wow. What you mean? That's, you told me, you said, baby, I'm working on trying to divorce my wife. It's been <laughs> seven years. You know, that's how long you've been messing around. She probably know about me. She know about me, right? Damn. I'm pretty sure she do. I mean, she she's seen a few phone numbers and stuff, but she don't know you, know you like that. So she don't know you. you. Tell when, what you tell them when you be coming to my house at 4, 3 o'clock in the morning? What you be telling me you be going? Working out. Working out all night? Yeah, because I don't work out through the day. So, yeah. So, you telling me your wife believe that you're at the gym from 4 a.m. to 6, 7 a.m.? Yeah, she thinks I'm working out for three, four hours, yes. Wow. You have it so, like, you have it. She is saying, y'all, ain't nobody out there working out three, four hours early in the morning like that. He working out, all right. He working out, he working those cheeks and them sheets. She gullible, but some women just don't go. Let's just get into the store. We're going to break down a little bit as we come across. But, dog, if you're, if you're consistent with your schedule, with your training schedule, it's a possibility that she could believe that this man goes to the gym from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. I'm, I'm just saying. In, in her mind, she's like, who's, 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 cheating at 3, 4, 5 a.m. coming right back at 6 a.m. I don't know. Let's see. Your system set up so good. Like, it doesn't even make sense. So you telling me that you're not going to leave her? Why would I leave my wife? You know like, I have, listen, have mm. a, I've never met your mom, your dad, nobody. So why would I leave my wife? Why would I do something like that? Like, that doesn't make sense. I, Me personally, I think everything is set up good enough. I see you for a few hours. You get what you need from me. You know what I'm saying? I get to go make some money. I help you with your bills. I take care of my bills at home. Everything is good. So why are you trying to mess up what's going well? I get lonely. When you're not here, I'll be lonely. Oh so which makes you probably have to entertain another dude or something. That's what you signed up for. You the side chick. You the side chick. And that's the thing about side chicks. I mean, I I, I assume that at, if you're doing this for so long, at the end of the day, they're going to get tired at night. Because, I mean, you go home to your wife and you do your thing and these side chicks are like, bro, like, uh, I'm lonely. Where you at? Like, I only get you 30 minutes, an hour at the day. But her bills paid. She ain't complain. Look, she ain't say anything about her bills not being, pay uh, uh, being paid yet. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So you need to figure you need to figure something out. You need to figure something out because I'm telling you, I mm -mm. need you. Here. I re I respect that I ain't about to say go. That's what some other dudes here okay with that. You know, entertain nobody. I'm not gonna say that because it's life. We human beings and we adults and you have your urges and I have mine. I understand that, but it's one of them things to where you gotta decide: do you want to be taken care of or not? Now, if you got a dude out there who want to be in a relationship with you, mm. go ahead on and be with him. You know, I told you I would never stop you for being in a relationship with nobody. What if I don't want to be in a relationship with nobody but you? I, I got a wife. But just make sure that other dude is paying your bills. <laughs> That's what he said, dude. Look, y'all have an arrangement where he's taking care of you and he can come over here. He can fill in the gap from what he's not getting from his wife. He can get some outside cheeks. All right. Now nah, you just feeling lonely, but that's the role. That's what that's the relationship that y'all have built over the last seven years. You didn't change your mind after the first year, second year, third. Ongoing. All right. Ongoing. You had plenty of chances to go and develop a relationship with someone else over the last seven years, but you chose not to. I got a wife and that's not going to change. Look, you're not about to have no wife. Because I'm really about to tell her that, I'm, that we've been messing around. I'm going to show her every picture. I'm going to show her that why? I'm paying my bills. And I'm going to show all that. Why are you gonna I'm do telling you to do it the right way and tell her about why, me. Why, why, are you, why are you doing all this right now? You say why? I'm saying, I'm Ooh. asking you, why are you doing all this right now? Because I'm not about to wait seven years of my life. When we first started talking, you was the one that told me, hey, you not with all of that lovey dovey stuff. Like, let's keep it friends, strictly friends and benefits. That's what you told me. Now, all of a sudden, you're catching feelings, and I hate when people do that. Don't change on me is what I'm asking you. Listen. Don't, like, don't do that. I'm don't, don't. Dog, you got played, dog. Dog, she made it sound good, too good to be true, bro. That's all it is. She made it sound too good to be true, and you stepped out. That's what happened, dog. And this is what you got to put up with now. Don't do that. Do not change on me. We first started talking, everything was good. I'm not changing on you. I'm just simply saying that, babe, I'm lonely. 
you spending too much time over there. Do you not only know? Do you know the only time I see you is literally Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. It's like I'm a weekend chief. Do you not understand like how that makes me feel? So well, you in love with a man that's in love with you, but I got a wife. But we know we knew that. How you in love with me, but you won't leave her? Why I'm in love with her. T- I'm. Come on. Now. Leave your wow. family. Are you serious? You seriously asking me to leave my family? Are you serious? I mean, your kids can come over here, so leave your family. Leave I'm not. I'm, I love <laughs> her. I'm, I, listen, I love my wife. I I'm not it all. I like. Listen, I like you. I like what we do. Everything is fun. I, honestly, like I like taking care of you. I like all of that, but I'm. He is not in love with you. He like he like y'all in a situation where he just like everything. He like the way it is. All right, he might be in love with the situation. He is not in love with the relationship though. He likes the comfort of just going and coming when he pleases. Now you get mad, but this is the way you told him that it was all good. Nah, it's not all good. Now you trying to do y'all. This is crazy. I'm never ever ever gonna leave my wife. You gotta understand, I'm not leaving my wife for you. At least look, he being upfront I, I, about I, I, it. I feel like I gotta respect that, but just my now my my kids. Like, come on now, why would I do that? Yeah, I respect that. I mean, you you. Why gotta, would I do that? Like, just just be honest. I like I I love she my respect children. Respect that now. I not think for the kids can come over here. They can come over here and stay the night. I like my family dynamic. Stay the I night. I like the fact that they have me and their mama, so I'm not I, I'm not about to do nothing like that. I'm not okay, going to lie so to you. I, I, I'm just <laughs> trying to have this conversation with you since, you know, you want to do all this extra stuff. But why are you going to try to call my wife? Like, I, I'm, I, I'm I have not on... calling her. I'm just letting you know that so during the week when you're not here, I might just be having another man here and don't be popping up at my house. Don't Damn. Don't pop up at my house. Let's see so you're says. telling me I pay the bills at your house. And you gonna have another man come up in here for free? Not all the time, and I'm not saying for free because he gonna be paying some bills too. But if what, you say you what, love what, me, well, you must be reimbursing me some of my money, huh? No, leave your wife. That's oh what I'm damn! Saying. Leave your wife. They in a transactional relationship. I'm not leaving my wife. You not leaving her? I'm not. Okay, well you might not have no choice. She might end up divorcing you anyway. Why you keep saying that? Like, why? I, I, I need you and I want you more than her. She's a big time lawyer. She can pay for her own bills. She can take care of herself. Like, what you like? She's some like I, I don't know what is she. I, I don't know if she's a lawyer, doctor, something. But she, hey, I, I see her Instagram. I see all that. Okay. So she okay. can take care of herself. I need you okay. more than she do. Okay. And I know you know that. Okay, I understand. So, right. This is what I do. I'm gonna just fall back from you. You say what? I'll just fall back from you uh-huh. because if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna try to call my wife or try to contact her or try to ruin my relationship with her, whatever the case may be, listen, I'm gonna just tell you that's not gonna work out okay. well. So, 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 I wanna tell you this too. I love you mm-hmm. and, you know. I'm your, I'm your friend to the end, but if you're going to snitch on me to my wife, like, that's not going to be good. Yeah, okay. All right. That's and, not going to be good. If you think just leaving me is going to help the situation, and I'm here alone, by myself, heartbroken, we're going to see two to play the game. Okay. I'm not. Mm. I'm not leaving. I'm here every week, and I pay your bills. That's like, exactly we talk funny. every day on the phone. So why are you doing all this? What am I supposed to do Monday through Thursday? I'm, then I'll be calling you. I'm calling you. You'll be like, all right, babe. We, we talk for like two to three minutes. And then it's, I gotta call you back. It's off the phone. Then I don't hear from you again. Okay, because I'm back. around my wife and she yeah, don't know yeah, about you. Know. Yes, I'm around my wife and she don't know about you. So I can't be doing all of that. Okay, so what do you want me to do as a woman? What do you want me to do? Wait on my text messages. Wait on like, my text messages. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm going to wait and then I'm going to tell your wife. About what oh, you baby girl, so listen, it's a difference. The reason why I got my wife because she has no motivation to do anything. I got you because you you got motivation to do all of these things. You said you want to do all of these great things, so I'm allowing you to do that. Oh, wow. Like, so that's why I feel like it's perfect. But once you start getting in your mind and in your feelings, like all your goals get out the way. Like you don't even think about your goals no more. How you you want to be this big up? time person, like are you focusing on that or are you focusing Gas on Gas lighting, deflection. I'm focusing on myself, but then when I get lonely and you're nowhere to be found um, until six hours later, it's like, I don't even want to deal with you. I don't even know. I don't even know what to 
Like, what you want me to do? I know. Like, I know. I got a wife. I got a wife. I got a wife. Right, you got the situation. She's but not you, really hearing it. She's not understanding. You're one of the only only women I know who she being taken care of by a man, reason. and he ain't he ain't in your face all the time. Your, but all your bills paid, so you get to do whatever you want, and you sitting here complaining. Like I don't understand that. I need a man twenty four seven. You say you need a man twenty four seven till you can't do nothing you want to do freely. Why? Why? Why wouldn't I be? Who like? Who? When you come into my life 24 7, what's gonna stop? I'm still gonna go out with the girls. I'm still gonna do what I wanna do. I'm like, and I'm still gonna spend time with you. So I'm trying to figure out what's like, what's gonna change other than you being here 24 7. All right, listen. At the end of the day, I just wanna know one thing. This is all one thing I'm worried about. Is you gonna talk to, is you oh, trying to reach out wife. to my wife? If you think that you, if, listen, okay, that's your business. Well, look, he ain't leaving. Can you come over Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Mm. What times you want me over here? Same time. And when is that? I'm asking you at Wednesday all the way through Sunday. I don't want to just see you on the weekend. You can see me, but I can't be here that long. I could come here on Wednesday, but I can't be here that long. Why not? Come on, you're going to get me in trouble now. Okay, at this point, tell her about me. Why you going to tell her about me? I, I, t- I listen. Back then, I told her about having a friend. She went off. I asked her about polygamy. She went off. So I, I, I'm not gonna keep forcing that down her throat. I can't keep doing that. Okay. So look, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday through su- Wednesday through Sunday is good. Can you, can you do that? I can do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's oh, Wednesday damn, through Sunday. Are, that's too much, baby. Yeah. Unless you want to spread out. They the about days. to settle, huh? But I can't be here like that. I can't be over here like that. So I'm not worth it, is what you're saying. You worth it. Okay, so risk it. If I'm worth it, then risk it. I'm going to figure something out. Yeah, figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah, dog. You're going to have to figure nothing out, bro. You're going to have to figure out how to fall back from her the right way. See, the thing that you should have never did if you was going to do it is say, I was going to fall back. You should have just never even said that. If you was going to fall back, you got to do it in silence, my guy. You're just going to have to fall back and just let her do her thing, man. But even still, that's a risk. But she, you risking her blowing up. Now you tr- you just stretching yourself thin trying to make two women happy at the end of the day, bro. This is just uh, something that evolved into something that you didn't want it to, right? It got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger no diddy all right now she is coming out of the woodworks making threats and and when that happens your situation is not good at all though you know whenever you're in a friendship relationship situationship and one person is throwing threats to cause emotional damage to you dog that's not really a, a good relationship that's not positive at all but it started off on bad grounds dog it's a side chick a side relationship you know if you wasn't really trying to really leave which i don't think guys really do that when they have side chicks this is not what was up so it kind of started off on bad grounds anyway my guy and this is the aftermath it's crazy to how to see it all the way play out in this conversation and in this clip because i'm pretty sure there's dudes out there that go through this and if you're one of them watching well, man, leave your story in the comments man just, we'll, we'll read up and touch up on it man no harm no foul man how would you fall back from a side chick what would you do all right well how would you get out of this situation is the question you know leave your comment dog do is sit on this internet and judge people at the end of the day i did what i had to do as a mother my kids should not go without living life because i can't afford to do something like earlier that week my baby daddy had gave me like 300 dollars, but i had to get my hair and stuff done it's only messed up now because i slept on it i had to get my hair lashes nails and stuff done so that's what i had to use the money from him for my kids make good grades and everything in school and they want to go to the fair and they deserved it so i seen an opportunity with old dude like okay he been in my inbox and stuff he been begging me to go out to take me out and stuff like that so i gave him my number conversed with him a little bit and i invited him out to the fair because i knew he was the type of person that was going to pay for it so all i did was do what i had to do as a mama to make sure my kids can enjoy themselves so i don't care how y'all look at me and how y'all judge me i am a damn good mother it's a lot of moms that wouldn't even do what I do to make my kids happy. I am a good mom.
You do look good. Hey, look, if you're a good mom, just go ahead and work, dog. Just go ahead and get some funds to go bring them to the fair. You don't even have to go buy nothing. Just bring them to the fair and walk around that mug. At the end of the day, you're getting dragged through the mud because you're you're saying that you would almost let a random guy come near you and your kids just to simp him. Just so, just you know, he might be nice. He he's just a simp, right? But you're willing to take that risk. You don't know really who he is. You said random guy in your inbox that has been trying to hit with you. You don't you're taking a risk bringing him around your family family like that and you don't really know him and you're out here saying like don't drag me to the mud and that you're a damn good mom you might be a good mom to your your kids as far as you taking care of them but this decision was a horrible decision you know i'm that's my opinion all right so if you have young kids really invest in the person that you're dating before you bring them around you bring him around, dude, hugging on you. He ain't hugging on you like he he he's some random dude. I can tell you that. Now, if this is a setup or a skit, I, I'm hoping that it is. But at the end of the day, your boy simped out and you pretty much copped out as a mom because all you had to do is just ask a family member for 20 bucks. Go take him out, whatever it may be. But this ain't what's up. Well, that's way too talk. It's a deal breaker. <laughs> Wait, you said you're not sure if you could carry her? Yeah, because it's <laughs> Too big, boy. I, I think you can carry her. You're, you're uh, I don't deadlift. I, I I bench, but I'm sure I'll be able to carry her. All right, how you feel about that? <laughs> um. She too he's big. not confident with that in himself, so mm. I mean, what? He seems, um, he's <laughs> look kind of old. I don't know. I like a cute face. You, you, know? you like a cute face? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by a cute face? Like Teddy has beautiful oh! teeth, but um. <laughs> This girl got the uh, Shaquille O'Neal hands, my Let me tell y'all niggas something, bro. Never, ever talk to a girl with big hands, bro. Look, this girl right here, this girl right here, grab your meat, bro. She gonna make your meat look small as shit, bro. Man, she gonna slap the life out you, man. That's what... <laughs> she gonna choke it, dog. This is the type of girls you can't make bad, dog. Just by luck, dog. Look, just by natural physical science. It's gonna be hard to compete with her, dog. She massive, dog. She probably got natural strength at that size, dog. Like you can't say she's not gonna manhandle you, bro. You gonna get handled. <laughs> she gonna get. She gonna slam you, dog. That's what's gonna happen, bro. And if you ain't ready to get manhandled like that, bro, like she really just you got you gotta be so cold, bro. You gotta be so confident to put her in a place. But uh, she don't. She doesn't come off as the type of person that like that wants to get put in her place. She looks like she be putting guys in their place, like straight. Up, dog like that's what she did that's that's what she's doing all right and your boy said i don't deadlift bro you're gonna have to take out some sort of you know insure you know in insurance package uh, a policy insurance policy so you don't blow out your back or something man trying to move around just saying dog.